Have you been wanting to automate your business's budget approval process? Well, let me show you how with JotForm approvals. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you're ready to automate the entire budget approval process, JotForm approvals has you covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. As you can see, we're currently in my form. So if I head up to the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna jump over to my approvals and we're gonna create approval. And we can either start from scratch, use a one-step approval, or we can utilize a template. So if you already have a form created and started, you can also always start from scratch, but utilizing a template, I need to do a quick search for budget. Utilizing a template is going to really allow you to speed up the entire process. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this budget approval process template. And like I mentioned, because we're utilizing a template, JotForm is going to give us a budget planning form to go with this. But again, if you already have your own form, you can easily swap it out with your form. So one of my favorite things about approvals is I love the bird's eye view that I can see the entire process at a glance. So let's look at this form. We can take a look at the budget planning. So we have a department. It looks like we have some different departments here for us. And then we have a certain time period, one through four. We have expected spendings. We have that total budget that's probably going to pull from the total cost right here. Then we have name, title, email, and signature. So if we head back over, we can see that once that budget planning has been submitted, it's going to come down here for the finance approval. Now, if we kind of zoom out and we take a look at the next step, we can see it's going to go to two more people. So this first step can be seen as kind of like an assistant, the gatekeeper. They know what needs to be happening so they can approve at a high level. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Let's look at the settings and we can see that we have two different outcomes. We have approve or deny, but if we do need to, we can add a different outcome as well. Next, we can see that we can require a signature for approval or denial. And then we can also see the signers or the approvers here. Now, another thing we can do is from the form fields, if you have a form field of a manager per se, we can add that in here as well. Next, we have our completion rule. So we can require a response from the majority, from all, from one person, or from a certain number of people. And we can also edit our notification emails. So let's say that our assistant says, it's not good. I see some things that need to be changed. If we deny, it's gonna automatically deny that entire request. If we look at it and say, you know what, it looks good, we can go ahead and approve it. We're gonna need a signature from us and it's gonna come down to that C level approval. And over here, we can see it the same as above. We have the different outcomes or signature. We have our two signers in here. We can see we have the CEO at example.com. And then we have our completion role. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to just one person. And then the same thing applies. If it is approved, we have approval and we get our approval report. And if it's denied, we're gonna get that budget request is denied. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this process looks like all together. Let's go ahead and open in a new tab and we'll choose our department and our period, let's do three. So I went ahead and added some printer, some paper and some ink. I added some costs over on the right hand side and we can see that it's automatically totaling it for us in the expected total budget column. And yeah, we'll do a quick signature and we can submit. Now, because I am an approver on this form, I'm going to get an email to let me know that I have something to approve. But because we're already in JotForm, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to where we were into our builder. I'm gonna click on where it says approvals and we can either jump into our tables or into our inbox. Both are going to get the job done. I'm gonna go ahead and choose tables for this example. And we can see John's request for his spending. We have the period, the marketing, and then we can also see see that this approval process is currently in progress. So if I click right here, we can see that I have action required. I can review his entire submission here. And if I come down to the bottom, we have our finance approval step. So I'm going to go ahead and approve. We'll give this a signature. And because I am an approver on the next step, I'm going to go ahead and choose in progress again, but I would also get an email. But if I come down here, we have the C-level approval step. We can approve this and a signature and sign, and we can see that we are officially approved. Again, if we click on it, we can come down here. We can see everything going through all the way down to that approval report email being sent. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm approvals to automate your budget approval process, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.